digestion in humans the mouth you know that the process of digestion is a very important part of keeping living things alive let us see how it works in humans you may eat a pizza in the evening on a saturday night and probably drink some orange juice and sit around the tv in a few minutes you're totally taken in by the movie you're watching and have completely forgotten about the pizza that you just ate well it is still in your stomach and very interesting things are happening to it your digestive system actually started working even before you took the first bite of your pizza and the digestive system will be busy at work on your chewed up lunch for the next few hours or sometimes days depending upon what you've eaten this process called digestion allows your body to get the nutrients and energy it needs from the food you eat though you've taken things in through your mouth there are many organs inside your body that are going to act on your food so let's find out what's happening to that pizza and juice even before you eat you smell tasty food or think about it the process of digestion begins as saliva or spit forms in your mouth when you do eat the saliva breaks down the chemicals in the food a bit which helps make the food mushy and easy to swallow your tongue helps out pushing the food around while you chew with your teeth let's take a look at our teeth we have many different teeth and each is rooted in a separate socket in the gums are all teeth the same no the teeth in the front and center are flat and sharp these are the teeth that you use for cutting and biting these are called the incisors you have four such teeth on the upper jaw and four such teeth on the lower jaw so you should have eight incisors do you the teeth next to the incisors are canines they are your sharpest teeth and are used for ripping and tearing food apart you have four canines two on the upper jaw and two on the lower jaw they are at the ends of the incisor line the teeth after the canines are for chewing and grinding food these are all different kinds of molars the first ones are called premolars then come the molars after that you have wisdom teeth last molars these normally erupt after the age of 18 and for some people they may not erupt at all now babies do not have teeth and cannot chew their food so we give them watery food and then very soft food so that their body can digest it and use it once they start getting their teeth we slowly shift to regular food some years ago your teeth must have started falling and new ones must have come in their place the teeth that fell off were part of your first set they are called milk teeth milk teeth fall off between the age of 6 to 8 years and then permanent teeth grow in their place This is your last set of teeth. If anything goes wrong with these, you don't have any spares or replacements. 
If you don't clean out the food from your mouth after eating, harmful bacteria can start growing in it. They start making substances that damage the teeth. This is called tooth decay. It can make the tooth hurt and even fall off. Eating many things with sugar such as chocolates, sweets, soft drinks etc makes this happen. So, take care of your teeth. For good dental health, brush and floss your teeth regularly. Don't smoke. Eat a healthy diet. See your dentist regularly for dental cleanings and checkups. Don't put dirty fingers and dirty objects in your mouth. A healthy mouth makes for a healthy body and a pretty smile. When you chew the food and roll it around in your mouth, a liquid from your mouth also mixes with the food. This liquid is saliva. Saliva is a digestive juice and comes from the salivary glands. The salivary glands are located near the throat and ears. Saliva comes from these glands. Saliva keeps mixing with the food as we chew it and roll it around in our mouth. Saliva contains a digestive juice called tylene. Saliva converts starches into glucose, which is a kind of sugar. Bread contains starch. If you chew on a piece of bread for a long time, it starts tasting sweet. Now you know why. The starch gets converted into sugar due to the action of saliva. We can check this with an experiment. For this, you need two test tubes, some boiled rice, water, a dropper and iodine solution. Name the test tubes as A and B. In test tube A, put some boiled rice. In test tube B, put some boiled rice that you have chewed on for 5 minutes. Then add some water to both test tubes. Now put 2 to 3 drops of iodine solution in each test tube and observe what happens. In the chewed rice, you can see that the starch has been broken down into sugar. Remember the starch test of nutrients that you studied already? You have to. You can't forget things that you have studied in science. Iodine only changes color if there is starch. That means in the test tube that iodine doesn't change color, there is no starch. You should be able to explain the results of the experiment now. As you chew the food, you roll it around in your mouth. What helps you roll it? Your tongue. The tongue is a fleshy muscle. It is connected to the mouth at the back. The space inside the mouth is called the buccal cavity. So, the tongue is attached at the back to the floor of the buccal cavity. It is free at the front and can be moved in all directions. The tongue helps us taste and talk too. Look at your tongue carefully. The little bumps on your tongue are all taste buds. The ball of soft food that we form in our mouth is called the bolus. When you are ready to swallow, the tongue pushes the bolus towards the back of your throat into the tube that goes into the stomach. This tube is called the food pipe or the esophagus.
The tricky part here is that the air that you breathe in also goes into your lungs through the same pipe. Inside the throat, this pipe is the same. Further down, it splits into the food pipe for food that we swallow and the wind pipe for the air that we breathe in. There is a flap that closes the windpipe when we are swallowing so that the food does not go into the lungs. This flap is called the epiglottis. If we eat in a hurry or talk or laugh while swallowing, the flap may not close. Then food goes into the windpipe. That's not okay at all. If food blocks the windpipe, Oxygen cannot enter the lungs. The body reacts with coughs or hiccups to throw it out. It is a very serious problem if the food continues to block the airway. The brain is extremely sensitive to this lack of oxygen and begins to die within 4 to 6 minutes. So, one can die of choking. What did we just learn? Digestion of food begins in the mouth. The mouth is called the buccal cavity. Teeth help to break down the food into smaller pieces. We have different kinds of teeth which break down the food differently. Saliva mixes with the food and starts digesting the starch in the food. The tongue helps to roll the food around and form a ball called bolus. We then swallow the bolus, it goes down our throat into the food pipe. 